stress, a topic that is very dear to my heart. I hope the things that I say and give today will leave as big of an impact on you as they did on me. So without further ado, let's get into this video. The correlation between what is happening in your life and how you feel about it is very, very little. It might seem like, geez, you have thousands of things to be stressful about. But I have to tell you that there are many instances in life where we have seen that that's not the case. There are people who go through horrible, horrible things and experience high stress situations daily, but they're content and happy and they cope with it very well. And then we see situations where people really are blessed. They don't have anything to actually worry about, yet they stress daily. So I want to encourage you with this to understand that everything in your life is a habit, including stress and stressing and being anxious about things. The same way as we learn habits, we can unlearn them. I know many people who are very emotional and anxious tend to say, I'm just like this. I, I've always stressed and I think I will always stress. You have to let that thought go. If you want to get to a place where stress is in the past, you have to let go of that mindset of it's my personality. Stress is not your personality. It is a habit like everything else. The number one thing you need to understand about stress is that it adds nothing. And I mean nothing good or positive to your life. It only adds illness and unhappiness. You need to understand this to your core to make that positive change in your life. I now know deeply that there is nothing that can be resolved better or enriched in my life with the help of stress. Never. I want you to be around people, around content, around information that lets you know that stress is a human killer, that stress will harm you, that stress is never in the same bracket together with happiness. Never. Believe it or not, no matter what type of impression I leave in front of the camera, I was a very, very emotional child, a very anxious child, a very stressful child. I'm not even, why am I saying child? I was like that until 21 at least. I would always be anxious about everything. I would feel the anxiety go through my body. So I've overcome that and this is how. Number one, I had and have a support system. We are very proud beings, humans. We sometimes like to say that we can do everything by ourselves. And I know definitely that I am one of those people. But if there's something that I've learned, especially in the last year in my life, is how people are everything, really. Family is everything. We are pack animals. And that does not mean that you need to surround yourself with 30 different people. In fact, introverts might not be comfortable with that at all. And there's a little bit of a introvert in me as well, but it's having at least one person that is your support system. And for me, I've said this multiple times, my biggest support system is my man. He has been my support system from day one. And as a man, he has given me space and I think that's one of the beautiful things about masculinity and men who love you and cherish you and support you. They give you that space, right? Which you can crawl into and just be. And I wouldn't be here today if I wouldn't have had such an amazing support system that has really inspired me to be more peaceful. And as I was stressing and as I was realizing that something is off, I don't want to spend my life being stressful. I don't want to be a woman or a person, it doesn't really tie to your gender, who says that I'm just like that. I just, you know, there are this circumstance and this circumstance and that makes me stress. I don't want to be that person. As I was going through that, I had someone who supported me and said to me that you can get through this and I'll help you and I can give you some tips on how you can be less stressful. So if you are around people constantly who also stress, that's not gonna help you stress less. You need to have that support system that calms you that inspires you to be better. Number two, I put my health first. 
2022 was a magical year for me because that was the first time in my at least adult years where I decided to put my happiness first and my mental health first. And when I did do that, I had to take a step back and realize, okay, what's not allowing me to be that person? What's not allowing me to get there? And it very quickly dawned on me that I was always overworking and stressing and, and my priorities were not how they should have been. I had to come to a place even before 2022 to understand that if I'm actually saying that my health comes first, but I'm stressing, it's not aligning. It's just not correct. You can't say that health is important to you and then stress. As I said, stress is a human killer and it will kill you very, very fast internally. And I'm not saying like with a big splash, like in a horror movie, but you will develop different illnesses. And I've talked about this in my, in my many other videos. So if you cherish your health, if you want to put it first, then stress has to go. Number three, finding things that calm your nervous system. To me, it's walking. It's also painting, it's singing, it's sometimes making something tasty and getting into bed and watching my favorite TV show. It's doing things that I love. It's doing things that make me feel happy. Sometimes we tend to experience a lot of stress in our lives if we are focusing more on things that we think we should do, not things we want to do. Because the more you spend time doing things you love, the less you are unhappy and you're able to connect with you. Of course, stress can still happen in places where you're doing what you love. That's absolutely true, but you're minimizing that possibility by doing things that calm you and make you happy. So find things that bring that joy to you. As a person who was fueled by stress and anxiety, and people who feel the same way will know what I mean, it was hard to say goodbye to stress because I thought, what else will drive me? Sometimes we are so tied to our anxiety that we think it's a part of us. I know such people in my life. I know people who have to find something to stress about. It just makes them feel like they're in control. This actually reminds me of when I was younger and I didn't you know, like a part of my body and I would always be worried about that part. And I remember my mom saying, you need to learn to love that part in your body. And I thought, I don't want to love that part because if I do, I'm not gonna want to change it. You see, that's a, that's a perfect example of how something negative drives us and we think we need it to thrive. But it's only after loving yourself and understanding your true reasoning for things, you can open up new doors to new emotions, to new reasonings. Number five, rearranging my priorities. When you do start to talk with yourself honestly, when you stop thinking about society, when you stop thinking about what other people will think of you, of you when you stop people pleasing, when you stop doing all of those things, you're able to connect with you and you start to ask yourself, what is actually important to me? And I came to a realization that peace, inner peace, is very, very, very important to me. It's crucial to me. Once you have a taste of how that feels, it seems like nothing is better. And when I realize that my top priority is peace, contentment, family, living in harmony, I was very eager to start working on the things I needed to work on so I can get to that. But if you don't arrange your priorities, if they're not aligned with who you are, it's a mess. Everything seems messy and stress fits right in there. There is nothing more beautiful in life than to be at peace. And we see that in society. We see that in relationships. We see how easy it is to be around such people. I am so glad that at least currently in my life, my top priority is that peace. And uh, I guess love as well, love as well. But love really, really comes from that inner peace, I have to tell you because you're content. And I think all people, when they're content, they tend to bring out more love towards the world and towards other people. You have to learn how to leave space for imperfections. Otherwise, if you want everything to be perfect, you will stress all the time, every day, every week. When I accepted that there will be imperfections in my life, there are things that 
I just can't control. I just can't control. It made it easier because it made me feel like everything is going according to the plan. If you are also a perfectionist, you want to make things look perfect and nice, you think that everything is in your control. So if something is not perfect, you think it's your fault and then you stress about it. But when I decided to, okay, I'm still in control, but I'm leaving space for imperfections, it got easier. It's like weight gets taken off of you. So uh, it's a very, very important point that I wanted to put out there. And number seven, accepting the unknown. This ties together with the imperfections. If you accept that life is unknown to us, there are things that can change in a day. Now, there are things that still scare me about that concept, but I'm learning, really, really learning to accept that life is unknown and it's okay that it's unknown. It's supposed to be unknown. And that also makes me stress way less because I don't think anymore that I need to control everything. And if something moves a little bit away from the direction that I planned, then it's horrible and everything is, is done. My contentment and my peace and my happiness is coming from simplicity. I am choosing to see things simpler. Things are not simple or not simple. It's how you see them. And when you look at people who tend to stress less, they tend to have approach of, it's okay, we'll deal with this, it's fine. It's not a big deal, it happened, let's move on. They see things simpler. It can be the same exact situation, but you take a person who stresses a lot and you take a person who doesn't stress a lot and they will tell you a completely different story about that situation. So, Please do not lose hope if you are feeling like stress controls your life, if you're feeling like you're anxious. It takes a lot of inner work, but it's possible to get there. Before we leave off, I just wanna give or say a little disclaimer that stress is natural. I don't want you to also think that, okay, I'm working on myself, but if I ever stress, I'm not there yet. Stress is natural and it's there for a reason. Nature created that emotion for a reason. Stress was made for us to understand that danger is near and we have to escape. The problem with stress is now that it's overtaken our lives, we feel it all the time and then it's not healthy. Leave that stress or leave that possibility for stress when it's needed, when you need to be like, okay, I need to run and it's danger, it's completely normal. It's possible to get there, work on yourself, rearrange your priorities and understand that nothing can replace contentment and happiness. You only have one life. You have it, it's yours, enjoy it. Learn to cope with what you need to cope, but do things that make you happy, do things that you love. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining in today's video. If there's anything you wanna share about this topic, let me know down below. I love you guys all so much, and thank you for being here. Bye.